y'all welcome back to my channel be for real i am brit so today i tried my hand at a vegan rendition of olive garden's chicken gnocchi soup we not gonna waste y'all time today we are gonna go ahead and hop right into the video so getting right to it we are gonna start building our base i did go ahead and throw in two tablespoons of vegan butter about a tablespoon of olive oil we are going to go ahead and let that cook down and here i'm just tossing in a half of an onion and one celery stalk that's chopped down and we are going to let this cook down for about three to four minutes until the onions get translucent i'm going to go ahead and throw in two husky tablespoons of garlic if y'all been watching my videos y'all know i love my garlic and here we're just going to throw in about a fourth cup of some garbanzo bean flour chickpea flour whatever floats your boat so this is basically what's going to help thicken the soup up i'm also using this ripple vegan half and half i found this at whole foods i'll also leave in the description box an adequate substitute that you guys can use if you're not able to find the vegan half and half but i am throwing in two cups of this half and half i'm doing a little at a time just a little bit at a time go ahead and flick your wrist on there get that nice and incorporated then i'm just going to go ahead and throw in about a cup of shredded carrots you can of course shred your own carrots i took the lazy route and just bought some shredded carrots here i'm just using the garden scallopini chicken i cooked it according to the package directions i believed i used all four of the pieces and i just went ahead and cubed them up here you just see me seasoning we're going to be using some sea salt some pepper i threw some thyme up in there um so definitely season this to your discretion i'm a little generous you know with the thyme and all that so i'm just going to get that nice and incorporated give that a good stir and then we're just going to be going ahead and adding in our veggie bro so how much or how little you use is completely up to you depending on how thick or thin you would like your soup so if you would like it on a thicker side use less broth if you would like it on a thinner side use more broth i use four cups but definitely you can add it in at your discretion based on how you prefer your soup the chicken gnocchi at olive garden does tend to be on the thicker side so i know if y'all was looking at it you know like brit that do look a little thin just keep in mind that's just how i wanted it so you know don't judge me it's just my mind your business so moving right along we will be using cauliflower gnocchi from trader joe's i actually seen this on instagram and i was like oh i'm making an olive garden gnocchi now now i can have the gnocchi soup so i went ahead and got this from trader joe's it was relatively cheap i want to say about two three dollars wasn't too much i cooked it according to the package directions as far as how long to boil it and things like that so I threw that in there, brought it up to a boil, went ahead, tossed in our spinach here, added some more seasons to get it right, and boom, we are done. Was this quick or was this quick? Was it quick or was it fast? Was it simple or was it easy? You know, just some questions that I had for y'all. So this is the end of the video. This is it. It was short, quick, simple. I tried it. It came out good. It actually gave me more of like a chicken and dumpling vibe. So it wasn't an exact rendition, but it was close enough. It was definitely close enough. I, I feel like it would have been closer if I used potato gnocchi. Um, so maybe I'll give that a try next time. But the cauliflower gnocchi was good. Don't get me wrong, it was definitely good and it's a great alternative if you're looking for a low carb option. So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you a million times and I will see y'all in my next video.